to provide children as well as adolescents greater protection against vaccine preventable diseases. Napaka mahalaga po ng ating pakuna. Uh, Ito po ay uh, subok na tandaan ang ilang dekada. Ito po ay liptas. Ito po ay libre. Ito po ay naangkat mula po sa mga ibayo na bansa. <coughs> na kinukolekta. At ito po ay sadyang para sa inyong mga anak. At huwag po natin babaliwalain, ito po napakamahalaga, napakamakabuluhan programa ng ating po Department of Health at ng ating po National and Local Governments. Ito po ang school-based immunization na isang strategia na uh, para po uh, sa ating mga bata, ang mga uh, medyo nakatatanda ng mga bata o older children and adolescents, uh, ito po ay isang plataforma para makapagbigay po ng uh, oportunidad na sila ay mapakumahan at uh, may isama din po yung ating uh, tinatawag na integrated public health interventions like mass dewarming. No? So ginagawa din po yan dito sa DepEd. Uh, para po dito sa City of Manila and in particular all that says I high school, there will be a total of 100 grade 7 students uh, to be vaccinated in missiles, Rodella, and booster shots of tetanus and diphtheria vaccine. While a total of 1,500 grades 1 to 7 students from Pasig Elementary School are also being targeted and given shots of MRT vaccines and selected grade 4 female. Uh, mag-aaral na estudyante ay bibigyan naman na ng human papiloma virus vaccine para po ito makaiwas kung po sa cervical cancer. Dahil po ang HPV ay isa sa mga hindi ang uh, sabi ng ating po tatawag na cervical cancer kapag ka sila po ay uh, luwakinan at uh, nasa uh, age of uh, maturity. The new age school-based immunization program aims to reach more children, especially with the yearly increase in the number of enrollees. School-based immunization was piloted in 2013 in selected provinces and cities nationwide. In August 2015, your DOH, in collaboration with DepEd and the DILG, successfully conducted vaccination in 38,688 public schools nationwide providing a second dose for measles and booster doses for diphtheria and tetanus. This became a yearly activity since 2015 when August was declared the School-Based Immunization Month. Since its relaunching in Taguig City in the first week of July, which vaccinated a total of 2,259 students from Signal Village National High School, SBI was also conducted in Valenzuela City particularly at Apollonia Rafael Elementary School. We were there about last week with an overall total of 6,477 students were vaccinated with uh, missiles containing vaccine, uh, tetanus and diphtheria, and human papilloma virus um, as well. And uh, after the successful implementation of our Missiles Outbreak Response, or ORI, providing missiles to take vaccine to most vulnerable population, our 6 to 59 months old cohort nationwide reached the last mile, geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, or better known as the GDA areas. Your DOH will continue to provide this vaccine to school aged children from kindergarten to grade 7 using the school-based platform. The program will also provide grades 1 and 7 learners nationwide with booster doses of tetanus and theory. And I would like to stress during this occasion that only learners with parental consent will be vaccinated after a quick health assessment and evaluation of their immunization status against missiles. For your information, a total of about 9.9 million learners are targeted to receive NCV using the school-based platform. For the 2019 school-based immunization, school children from kindergarten to grade 7 or K to 7 are the target population to be vaccinated. 
School-based immunization, pre-implementation started June 2019, while actual vaccination using selective strategy in the country's different regions will be until September 29. So again, I underscore to all parents and caregivers, let us protect your children against vaccine-preventable diseases. Please, please, please bring them back to the health centers and get them vaccinated. Back to the health centers, back to bakuna, una sa lahat, bakuna. Maraming po salamat. Thank you very much, Uh, vaccines uh, which have been proven 
of uh, safety, of quality, and uh, of course, this is uh, free, given by the national government. So, kung titignan po natin ang datos sa uh, kasalukuyan, but 98% na po ang coverage natin for the age group 6 months to 59 months of age. So, ito po'y malinaw na nagsasalami na nagpapalit ang tuwala ang, uh, ng ating mga kababayan na sana ito po ay mapagpatuloy uh, at uh, hindi na po magkaroon ng ganitong uh, karanasan doon po sa uh, kontroversiya na tulos po ng Gaibaksha uh, dahil talaga po kami ay talagang nahirapan. Ang ating po mga health workers ay kukurahin po sila at uh, cut calls. Magkaroon po po tapo sa mga uh, barangay, sa mga health centers ay talaga po nakumura sila ng mga, uh, ng mga nanay na ang tapo dito sa atinding na patot na naging dulot ng uh, Gaibaksha scare and controversy. So ngayon po ay uh, tingin ko ay uh, muli ang uh, paniwala, ang tiwala ng uh, taumbayan sa uh, integridad ng ating mga uh, bangla sa both national and local governments. Okay, next question. Secretary Ero po from social media. Um, sir, mayroon po bang additional precautions sa pag-purchase ng ating mga vaccines at report ng mga ating vaccines there? Uh, sorry. At laging po tayo meron pag-iingan uh, prudence uh, dictates that all of the imported health products such as drugs, medicines, and vaccines undergo FDA clearance. Ito po ay dumataan sa mahigpit na pagsusuri ng ating po FDA uh, na ayon po sa mga pamantayan no, of uh, standards of uh, safety, uh, quality, and affordability. But more than that is really giving emphasis uh, that these vaccines are cleared for their uh, safety and uh, for quality by the FDA, uh, whose mandate is to really ensure that before you release all these health products, uh, they have to undergo uh, a uh, evaluation and assessment.
I think uh, Dr. Barman, Fox Barman, gave me already a ballpark uh, figure about 14 more or less health centers lying in. Nawala nang nangangana. Those are mga lying in. So, but don't get me wrong, it's just an edifice ang mga wala. The, 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 the building and resources like doctors, nurses, and other uh, medical uh, personnel or yung mga aming kliyadro sa city hall will be utilized to other lying ins. Kumbaga, uh, rearranging lang doon ang uh, resources. Kaya wala rin na wala. Pero we are going to be very practical in maintaining, you know, not to maintain anymore those uh, health centers. Para naman na sa ganoon, yung high demand health centers matukunan. So we will modernize it and we have one close na kahalang patungin sa labi. Because I have a commitment also. I have been scouting Central 
storage facility pagbili ng supply ng gamot. We need, may nanalo, i-deliver directly sa end user on the basis of the demand like X number of paracetamol, X number of amoxicillin, X number of karate, and so on and so forth. O gusto mo kung molo doon, pwede rin. At kung masakit ang ulo mo, dok, yung tumbo ulo mo doon. Pag wala ang gamo. Pag-isabisan, yakap soon, kispirin. Simply because the risk, the risk, na manakaw yung gamot. Kaya kung may balita nga ako nung halalan eh, may kumukuha doon kung may kotse ng mga gamot. Ah! Puting kotse. May video kami. Puting kotse. Picture pala. Sorry, picture. Doon si Stockyard. O tapos dadali. Dadali. May tatawi. Matulay. Ay, mas ang tamis. Mas ang tamis. Inaglabana. See? This thing should stop and we will address it. This will never happen again. Bawat hospital, bawat health center, and so on and so forth. Sapuhin ninyo yung dinimang ninyo. I-receive ninyo yung hiningi ninyo directly. And we will account we will account we will account ultimo para sa tabon. Because Mahirap talaga pag walang gamot sa ospital. Huwag hindi po milagroso ang doktor. Alam ko ang doktor matasalin. Alam ko ang doktor may kakayanan professionally. But without medicine, good luck. So these are the things that we're going to do along the way and hopefully may awa ang Diyos mapagbutili namin ang aming mga attitude bilang doktor o kawani ng public healthcare institution. Alam niyo, totoo na nakakapagod maging doktor, totoo na nakakapagod maging nurse, pero talagang kumisan if a person is into pain, he would not understand na pagod ka na, na tao ka rin, may buhay ka rin. But you know, this is public service. And the best way to do it is dapat tayo mga nasa public service, kaya tayo nasa public service, kasi mas malawak ang pangunawa natin sa nangangailangan ng servisyo natin. And I'm calling the attentions, attention of our uh, employees, doctors, and all, all those who are involved in our uh, front line uh, in delivering uh, healthcare uh, programs. Ang isuli mo naman, medyo medyo kapahan nyo naman ng inyong pasensya. Uh, tayong malusog, tayong naka medyo tanatagabuhay, yung tayong mga medyo nakaluluwa, tayo siguro yung mas mahawa at mas malawa ang kalisipan. So, we have to address also yung uh, habit na kagawin na ng aming mga. At hindi na rin ako papayag. I will fire. Ito, definitely, yung go and go civil service But I will discuss and try to explain the civil service. Hindi ako papaya na nangyari sa Manila. Wala yung director. Nag-leave. Kasabay nag-leave. Assistant director. Kasabay nag-leave. Chief cleaning. And this is a major hospital. You don't do that. 
Hindi ko pinagdadamot. Ha? Hindi ko pinagdadamot ang karapatan ng mga empleyado na maglito. Pero hindi rin bang naman masama. Tungkol, makakatabi lang kayo sa opisina. Sa opisina eh. Di ba may break? Okay, makagagala. Kailangan ko naman siya. Kailangan ko mabakasyon. Ano ba naman mag-usap-usap kayo? Magpalita kayo ng break. Pero but, can you imagine a major hospital, three major position, secretary, ano magiging katanggap-tanggap yun? You please try to explain it to me for 21 de la Cruz. I will not, I will fire you. Talaga promise, I swear, uh, you can discuss it. But for the meantime, you are not welcome to be part of the healthcare services. And lastly, uso-uso na po to answer your, ano, another, your query. We have a new program. Okay, ba? Sa ubos ng toothpick sa divisorya. Kasi naglalagay ng toothpick yung mga doktor na yan. Kasi kung may bisita ako ng maling araw. Hindi. Hindi dahil para siya sa ating sukating ng kakayanan ng uh, ating mga profesional. Hindi naman. I just want to see how we do it during the wee hours, how we do it yung sa alangan yung oras. So that I will learn. It's more on, hindi yung knowing it. It's more on learning. The very next day, I will know, o bakit nga pag ganito? And then I will ask professionals. Like, for example, Secretary Lutri, who's been in healthcare services for what? Nagal na panahon? Nakakapang panahon? Eh, ngayon, may sekretaryo pa ng bansa. So, patuloy ang mangyayari. Patuloy ang mangyayari. Hindi yan na simula-simula lang. And modesty aside, you ask some doctors, some foreigners, you ask Jose Reyes, PGAs, and other hospital, even our hospital, nung ako yung crucial pa, Vice Mayor, talagang hanggang madaling araw na bisita ko. Kasi gusto ko matuto on how we are going to be effective together. So these are the things that you're going to expect. And hopefully, may awan Diyos yung pangarap natin na magal. Talaga ito, literal ito. And I challenge each and every one of you. I challenge each and every one. Tingnan ninyo pag natayo namin pag hindi ka buka ng mga ating O, oh, tapos, o, oh, halimbawa, pag kami naman mas mabuti, o, oh, uh, i-deliver nyo ako ng kape, ha? Kasi yun ang good, because, okay, let me give you the reason why that I'm going to spend much resources for this. Alam mo yung hero, ha? Tapos natigil yung ano ng buhay mo. Dahil ang ginagamit mo lang po muna, yung lakas ng pangangagawa mo. Tapos yung into pain. Tapos medyo masama ang katapayuan mo sa kalusugan. At alam mo nang malapit ka ng kantahan ng umama. O may mama ko yun. Korea po nun na. But if you're in that situation, and even doctors cannot do about, you know, those type of sickness, kailangan na natin ang Panginoon Diyos, yung may parandang mo lang. Alam mo yun? Alam mo yung may parandang mo lang? May parandang mo lang sa tao. Yung konting kaginhawaan na siya'y pinagmamalasakit ang pagkakas. Binibigyan siya ng pahalaga, katulad ng mga natatamasa ng isang privado hospital. Hindi naman pwedeng sinuhin ang aming mga doktor sa pangpublikong hospital. No? But it's the facility. Kasi ang doktor, ang doktor sa Google, doktor din sa Google, ang pareho ang doktor sa Google yun. Doktor sa 
Sebarga, Doktor Sebarga, Doktor Sebarga ini Baik baik ini Baru ini berulang Sama Pero isa pa siniti Kung ay bender Kung magtaya ko sa sanda sa loob Kung araw talaga I know the feeling ng Organizers and DOH family, 